we need to thank God more. It is okay to pray for a car, to pray for a house, money, shoes, clothes, so on and so on, but you need to focus on what you have now. And you may say to me, Kevin, what can I thank God for? Okay, you can breathe right. <laughs> you can speak right. You have clothes to wear, food to eat, or should I say, do you have food to eat? Do you have clothes? Can you walk? Can you move around? Do you have hands? Do you have fingers? Do you have eyes? Can you see through your eyes? <laughs> Do you have ears? Can you hear? You have a head? <laughs> hey, do you have cancer? How is your health? So many things to thank God for. Because, man, what you need to do is go to a hospital and see people with amputated legs, amputated arms, hands, and stuff like that, and see people with AIDS, cancer, and all of these illnesses, when you see that, and if you are right with God, you are going to see that God has blessed you with so much. <sighs> I believe in this earth, entertainment have shown you that you are blessed if you have so many shoes, so many clothes, huge homes, so much cars and money. That is not blessed per se. What is blessed is the everyday things we see that is usual for many of us. What good is money if you are always in bad health? What good is so many homes if you are not sane? But because you are on the outside looking in, you want things that you don't have but you don't see what people are actually going through. So you may say that you want that person's life, but you don't know how that person is feeling now. You don't know how sane that person is now. You don't know what that person did to get what they have now. We have to know that demons are real. <laughs> if we can pray to God, you have to understand that people can choose to pray to demons. So, are you willing? My point is, we need to thank God for what we have. Because in some cases, some people are not going to appreciate what they have until it is taken away. I know for myself, that has happened to me, where I did not appreciate something or someone until it was gone. So why even get to that point, appreciate what you have, even if you don't have, you know what? What came to my mind now? Stop comparing yourself with other people. That is your problem. You see other people and 
and you are not seeing the whole picture, but you are comparing yourself with other people. So your perception is way off, <laughs> way off. But you are comparing yourself in a bad perception with another person and what that is doing for you, that is making you much more depressed. And as it seems, you may believe that God has cursed you or not being fair with you. Because you see these people here with so much and you say to yourself, well, why don't I have as much as they? which you are not seeing the whole picture. So if your perception is off, if your understanding is off, what you are saying, what you are seeing is wrong because you don't know what is happening. We are in an age of credit. So many people, I believe, are in debt. So if you buy something based upon credit, is it actually yours? No. If you buy my phone <laughs> with credit, is it yours? No. The phone belongs to the person that gave you credit. So if you buy everything with credit, it is not yours until you pay it off fully. So when you see people with so much, chances are credit. So how are you blessed when you are buying things with credit? <laughs> Let me stop here, man. God bless you.